question number 126 the first action spectrum of photosynthesis was described by the experiment conducted by T.W. Engelman in his experiment he used first action spectrum of photosynthesis was given by T.W. Engelman and he used the green alga chlorophora so the correct option for the given question is option number three so it's a memory based question let's move to the next question Question number 127, the following graph is showing absorption spectrum of chlorophyll A, B and the carotenoids. In the given representation, green region of the light spectrum lies. See here, this is the absorption spectrum of chlorophyll A, B and the carotenoids. Now, with the help of this graph, you can see that the chlorophyll A, B and the carotenoids, they absorb maximum in the region P, Q and the S. Between the Q and R, there is least absorption or you can say no absorption. It means this must be the green region because in green region, there is no absorption of chlorophyll pigments. Now, the green region of light lies between Q and R. Yes. Beyond S, no. Between P and Q, not possible. R and R's, no. Before P, no. So the correct option for the given question is option number 1. Let's move to the next question. Question number 128. Non-cyclic photophosphorylation is not concerned with the production of. Non-cyclic photophosphorylation is also known as Z scheme which is for the ATP production in the chloroplast. Now, ATP, yes, NADPH, yes. Oxygen, yes. NADP plus, no. So the correct option for the given question is option number one. Let's move to the next question. Question number 128. The plants having crayon's anatomy in their leaves use extra ATP to fix CO2 molecules as compared to the plants that do not have such anatomy. Those extra ATP are used during. The plants having crayon's anatomy, they are called the C4 plants. C4 plants have both the pathway C3 and the C4 pathway. So number of ATP in the C3 pathway is same as that of the C3 plants but number of ATP used in the C4 pathway are extra and these are 2 ATP per CO2 molecule. So these are used in the C4 pathway not in the C3 pathway. So the correct option for the given question is option number 1. Let's move to the next question. Question number 130. During which of the following conversions occurring in the matrix of mitochondria, both NADH plus H plus and CO2 are formed? This is A is the step of the link reaction. So pyruvic acid is converted into acetyl coenzyme A. And here pyruvic acid is a 3 carbon molecule. Acetyl coenzyme is a two carbon molecule. There is release of CO2 as well as NADH plus H plus. So yes, this is the step. Malic acid to oxaloacetic acid. Malic acid, it's a four carbon acid. Oxaloacetic acid, again four carbon. There is no release of CO2. C, citric to alpha ketoglutaric acid. There is release of CO2 as well as NADH plus H plus also. Yes. Alpha ketoglutaric acid 5 carbon, succinic acid 4 carbon, there is release of CO2 as well as NADH plus H plus. Correct. So A, C and D, they are concerned with the release of CO2 as well as NADH2. So the correct option for the given question is option number 2. Let's move to the next question. Mm -hmm.